All right, if you're gonna be working on computers, I would recommend buying one of these off of Amazon. It's really a good good set of tools for working on computers. Here's the information on it. You can do all that stuff. Let me show you it. I'm gonna open it up. And um, these are all the things that you're gonna need right here. I mean, this suction cup is how you pull off the, the uh, screens. And these little things right here are how you get in between the sides of the screens to pop them out. And once you got it out, you've got this tool here that, you know, you can tighten different heads on it right here. And um, you're going to need these, these little star-like heads to unscrew all the screws on your Apple uh, desktops. And then it has an extension thing, and there's all kinds of different little sockets and things in case you got nuts you need to get to. Uh, I would totally recommend getting this. All right, so anyway, my computer has pooped the bed. I want to get the hard drive out of it. This is an older computer. The first thing I'm going to do is unplug it, make sure that I don't have any power going to it. So I've taken the plug out. I don't want to electrocute myself. All right, so now we got to get this thing taken apart. So you definitely want to get one of these. And um, I mean, it's got all the tools that you need in it. Here it is. And all of those things are things you're going to need to work on your computer. Here's the suction thing that you put on the screen to pull it off. And then you get these little things that you pry into the screen to pop it. And then you're going to get this tool right here, which you tighten it up and the, you can twist it left, right. And then all of these little things right here, all these little star things you're going to need uh, to uh, undo all the screws. You also get a bunch of sockets. It also comes with, an, with a nice extension that you can use. And it does have these extra tools over here. This one here is kind of interesting because it bends so you can twist something and if it's in a corner, you know what I mean? Jelly beans. And um, and then there is this little tool here. So anyway, yeah, you're going to need this if you're going to work on it. So you're going to need one of these thingamabobs and you're just going to get it on a corner here and kind of pull on it. And it kind of pulls this lens off. If you can pull it enough, you can get this wedge in there. And then we can just kind of pop it. We just slide it along the edge there. You see, because I've got it loose. You follow me? See that? And it basically just comes out just like that. The magnets are really strong, so I may have to get it like, oh, I just had it and then now I, now I can't get it off. Let me get it up higher here. There we go. So now I've got that open, but it's you can see it's really tight. There we go. So now I got it. So it takes a little bit of work. Now the key thing is if you want to keep this thing working, you don't want to put this anywhere where it's going to get dust on it. So I'm just going to set it over here. All right, so this is your main screen. Now I've got to release a whole bunch of uh, screws. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six on top, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then I can pull this forward. So, so it's good to have one of these kits like this that I bought off of Amazon, so you can get these things out of there. All right, so these screw uh, heads have like what I would call like a star. So when you go into your, into your um, tool kit, you've got to find which one fits on there. And so then you can pull out the one that you need, all right? So here it is, right? So take a look at the at the head of it. See that? I think you can see it pretty good. And then this one here, you can see it fits in there like that, right? So, you know, you're just going to have to do trial and error to get the right one. Now to put this in this tool, this loosens it, right? And so I put the back end in like that, and then I'm going to twist this righty tighty or clockwise and that locks it in and now I can get in there and I can get on my screw and I can unscrew it you follow me just like that so that's what you need right and this back part lets allows you to spin hold this and spin it so if you're in a tight spot it gives you the ability to do that all right, so that's a, that's a good thing about it. And then these are different interchangeable. Now you're gonna find that each one of these screws has a different size head, so you gotta mix and match and find out which ones you need. 
All right, so I'll show you here. So if you look at these tools, you're gonna see that each one of these is a little bit different for those screws. So you, if you have really super tiny ones or if you got a little bit larger ones, so you have to figure it out. You can pull the head out and stick it into the screw and just see if it, if it fits and then figure out which one you need. And they're numbered there, like it tells you what the size is. So, you know, you've got to, you'll have to figure that out as you're doing it, you know what I mean, jelly beans? Now, if you look here, you're gonna see where the screw, where I'm going in. So I've got to get in there. Oh, this one's a little bit too big. So I got to get a smaller one. All right, so I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna look for a little bit smaller one. I'm gonna to go to the next one, it's even smaller. All right, so here we are. Let me get this in there. I'm gonna tighten it down so it doesn't come out. So I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna go lefty loosey, right? Just like this. Now there's a bunch of magnets in this thing. So you could lose your screws. Now, I don't really care about this computer. It's an older computer. See how it just grabbed that? So we've got our first little screw right here. I'm just gonna see if I can get it off of there. These are very powerful magnets, look. See that? So you wanna keep your screw, right? I'm just gonna put it in my little box down here, right here, I'm putting it right in there so I don't lose it. All right, so let's do the rest of them, right? Lefty loosey, right? Now remember the magnets there, it's gonna, see how it pulls the screw over? Then we can just grab it. Well, that's two, we got a million more to go. So there's, see, you see the screw there? Gotta get in there and get it. So I can hold the back like this and twist this. I should probably get some power tools, but you know, <laughs> get there. All right, I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. I've just got enough to get in there. I mean, I could, could use longer tools, that's for sure. All right, there we go. Yeah, I dropped that screw, I don't know where it went. <laughs> See if you can see it. See it right there. I guess I could lay this down, but then the screws, you know, may fall back. All right, like that, there we go. All right, so now you can see the screws a little bit better. These, look how powerful these magnets are. Super powerful. All right, here we go. Well, that, I got that one out, but I'll have to flip it over to get to it or get some tweezers. Let's get this one here. Okay, that one came out. So I've got those two there I gotta get. So now I'm on this side of it, right? So remember, lefty Lucy. Oh good, I got that one. <laughs> and then I've gotta go all the way to, the, to oh here, wait a minute. I've got one right here that I gotta get. Looks like I forgot to put this one back in last time I played with this. So I did put a new hard drive in it at one time. There we go. There we go. I might be able to get the other ones out too. So I've got a couple more on top. See, when it's next to this, man, it's hard to, when it's next to those magnets, man. Those magnets are super strong. All right, let's bring her around. Now we're up front on top of it, right? So we got those. Get this one. All right, so I dropped that one. I'll have to get the tweezers on it. Get this one. Just remember these top ones. It's like the magnet's so strong that it's pulling my tool away from what I'm trying to do. You see that? All right, I think we're good. All right, so here's one here. Let's get that one out of there. Um, I think I got some. Did I get all these? No, I didn't. So I got two screws in here I gotta get. These are the longer ones, right? See? You wanna get them all. You don't wanna lose any of them. Let's just look down here, make sure we got all those. We got all those, let's go to the top. All right, we got, did we get all the top ones? Yep, let's go on the side. All right, I think we've got them all out. I use these to do that. And now I've gotta put it back up like this. So now, this will pull forward. Should be able to pop this just forward. Oh, there we go. So now this will come forward. Oh shit, <laughs> that's not good. Hang on. So I'm kind of, god damn it. It's fucking heavy, man. All right, here we go. 
So now I got it, right? It's heavy. <laughs> All right, now when I pull it forward, you can't go too far because if you look down in there, you're going to see that it's got this little connector here that keeps it from, you know, falling forward. I've got to unhook all of this stuff, and I need to really, I think I need to bring some light into the subject. All right, so now we can see what's going on. So if you look, look, I've already almost ripped this out of there. All right, so now you can see everything. This here, I've got to pull out, and then that, the ones over here, I've got to pop out. So you, you see this right here? This has to come out of here. I've got to disconnect that, right? You see that? Once I disconnect that, this is going to fall forward. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got to pull this up. There it is. See that? And there's where it went in. Now, if you look, this will slide more. See how this is opening more? Right here's where I popped it out. Here it is. So just remember that goes in there, okay? I don't know what's going on here. This thing fell off. All right, let's look over here now. So over here, this one here for a second. Oh shit. There goes that. Alright, so I think I just tore something. I don't know what it was. But here you can see. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so we popped them out. You see that? It just popped out. And this one popped out too. I mean, we really didn't have to do very much, right? But anyway, now I can pull this off of here. You got me? So now that's off. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's take a look. So this is where we popped that off of. This thing, you know, fell off of there because of, uh, you know, when I undid the screws. And over here, you're gonna see the two, uh, two spots right here. This one and this one is where those two things were connected. This is the hard drive right here. So I've got to unscrew this, this, there's two little posts that go down, and I think we can just pull it out once we've done that and uh, unhook this, of course, and then all the cables on this side. And then we can get this hard drive out of here and we can take a look at it and see if we can get anything off of it. Because right now this computer, it's not booting up. It's pretty clean for being, this is an older computer. I've, I had it for many years. But let's go ahead and we'll try to get this off of here. First of all, we'll unplug this. Okay, we pulled that off. All right, and then we'll pop this off too. And then we gotta get that power supply off of there. There's that one. All right, so that so now we've kind of unplugged it. You know, it's just basically like every other hard drive in the world. You follow me? <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can pop it out of there. And I do believe I'm gonna use a little bit larger head. So I'm thinking that this is the one I need. Yep, that's it. All right, so now we've got to get our tool. We're going to switch our head. We're going to put this head back. Because we don't want to lose any of these, right? We're going to put this head in, tighten it down, right? And then we're just going to undo this. This is basically, um, what do you call it? A uh, Let's save this over here. I'm going to put it on the other side so I, I know which screws they are. All right, so that's that. And so this should just pop out. Bam, done. There it is. And if you look on here, there's two little posts there, and they fit right down in here in this in this little space back. So they're just kind of sitting in there, and then you just pop it out. And that's it right there. That's an SSHD 200 giga, 2,000 gigabytes. That's two terabytes, basically. So I've got a lot of information on here and I want to get it off of here and I want to save it. And that's basically the reason I tore this thing all apart. So we got the hard drive off and that's basically how you do it. Now, if you wanted to put it all back together, you know, you can, you just got to remember where everything went, you know. All right, so as you see, this piece right here, if you look at it, I'm going to slide it in there like that. You follow me? And it slides up inside this and it hooks into those pins. Just like that, you see that? And watch, that's how it fits. So you've got to pull this off of here, like that, and that's how it comes off. One more time, goes on like that, comes off like that. All right, so you got to do that. All right, over here, 
So over here, you're gonna see you've got these little pins here, right? And this one slides into this little area here. You see that? Watch. Goes in like that, comes out. Goes in like this. That's how that works. You follow me? Just like that. So you've got to get this into this little slot here. Man, it's tough to do. I mean, I don't know. You really have to have some delicate hands to get that in there like that. And then that just comes out. And of course, this one comes out that way. That's how those two come off. So it has to go like this. It has to go in like that. Oh, there we go. All right, so now that's in there. And so this just pops out, just like we did. All right, so that's it right there. Hard drives out. I think we figured it all out.